Anthony, would you be able to read us the prompt? Queen Anne, um, COVID-19 has forced education and training to be offered online. How, if, how effective is it, Queen Anne? Okay, so now I will answer the question. Um, to evaluate the efficiency of online learning, on a global scale is difficult because everyone has different experience and each school or each country has a different level of effectiveness. But as far as I'm concerned, at first everything was quite difficult because online learning was a brand new concept, especially in developing countries like Vietnam. We hadn't experienced that before. Students found it hard to stay motivated and focused during class and because they could not interact with their friends as well as teachers. But later on, everything just got better. Um, this year, the average score to get into top university in Vietnam is 27 over 30, which is like the highest ever. Um, it is because we do not know when the pandemic will end. So staying self-disciplined, proactive, and trying to fit in with the situation is the only coping mechanism. And teachers also strive to find the best learning, uh, the best teaching methods for their students. I have an aunt who lives in Australia, and she said that teachers there utilize a variety of apps to engage her student in class activities and making her class um, as captivating as they are communicating face to face, like Google Classroom. Compass, Seesaw, Quizzes, WebEx, like a lot of apps. Um, so to conclude, I think that distance learning may be a little bit difficult at first, but as long as we try to be adaptive, nothing is impossible. And I think that um, online learning should be widely promoted even if the pandemic is 100% controlled. Thank you for listening. Well, Kunyan, thank you for, for attempting that. You're very, very lucky to have our two guests today to comment on, on your performance. Uh, they, you know, they, they are wonderful, established um, business entrepreneurs, investors, um, and just really, really famous. So, so uh, Anthony and Aung San, do you have any feedback for Kunyan? What did you think about her performance just now? I think her, uh, her presentation or her answers are quite good. Um, if I were you, I would mix this with some personal experience. Uh, I would say that uh, what you said is, uh, is right, but it's a little bit dry. So uh, a little bit uh, personal story, uh, personal experience uh, will make you connect better with the audience. And Anthony, any any feedback for Kuingang today? Yep. Just um, uh, first, um, first and foremost, I thought the 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 answer was um, yeah, well structured and well articulated. Um, talked about um, yeah how it is challenging, and it's um, when and it's um, when online f um, learning was first um, introduced, but how those yeah, the challenges were were overcome. The only Feedback that um, yeah that um, I would um, share to that is that um, yeah I want to I think it's important to stress that yeah it's um, yeah online learning is yeah it's just another toolkit I think it's um, I think we can't get away with um, you know, doing the face to face learning as well so it's just about trying to blend those two together and um, and it's um, how do we utilize those two yeah like hybrid yeah environment. And it's um, to achieve yeah, the learning outcomes, yeah, whether it's you know, like at home, remote, or in the classroom. I think it's important to try to it's, um, not lose the essence of the, the human-centered yeah, nature of learning as well. Wonderful. Thank you, Anthony. And thank you, Aung Sun. And Queen Yang, I hope that you've had you know, some, some sense worth of really valuable advice there. And uh, after this call, after this episode, make sure you, you do check out other forms of online learning as well. So check out Maker's Empire, check out Top Class. They're wonderful resources for you, okay? Yes, I will note them down. Thank you. Yeah.